Jason called me like 10 to 5 and told me that load was ready. But I wanted to push it an hour or two. So when I'm getting shut down somewhere in southern Oklahoma today, I can uh, find a place to park. I actually haven't looked at the route, but I mean, I'm going to Sherman, so that's northeast of Dallas. So I'll probably be going through Tulsa. Yeah. I'm not sure. I don't know if these trailers are supposed to be ready to go or not. This whole lot here is new, so. But where they used to be is empty. I'm thinking maybe they switched things around. Not cleaning. That one's clean enough. Raised my landing gear this time on the way to Storm Lake. <laughs> I still can't believe I did that. Keep meaning to buy Christmas lights like that and then just keep not doing it. I was able to go back through my footage and find that trailer number. much every shift you're gonna run into somebody that's governed pretty close to the same speed you are but is going a little bit slower I mean why else would you have caught up to them but they're gonna do that prideful shit where they you know put their foot on the gas and make damn sure you can't get around them or it takes as long as possible so I've took to 
if I'm mid shift and I gotta take a half hour break anyway, I start having a fight with some guy because you know he wants to make damn sure he doesn't get past. Even though I caught up to you for a reason. You know, God forbid you lift your foot off the pedal and let the guy go around you so you don't have to fight for five hours. So I just pull off, do my uh, 30 minute break or go grab lunch or grab fuel, whatever. It's like, I don't wanna pass you guy. I also don't wanna get stuck constantly having to slow down and speed up because you're not driving at a regular speed. No, I don't understand it. I've never done that to people. Like if you're next to me for more than, you know, a half a mile and you're creeping by, let off the throttle for 10 seconds. You don't even have to hit your brakes. Just let off the throttle a little bit. They go on around you, you set your cruise back. Anyway, yeah. Somebody's walking by, felt awkward talking. But, <laughs> you know, it just isn't worth all the risk of what happens when you're riding next to somebody. And first of all, you end up pissing people off that are trying to get down the road and you're you know, blocking them two lanes wide or, you know, the other risk is like, you know, one of you could have a blowout of a steer tire instead of one truck being involved, you're gonna be two. So I try not to ride out next to people as much as possible, but I also try to stay at my top speed as much as possible. I could also tell that he was gonna be that way by how early he merged into the left lane because the truck looked like half a mile or a mile ahead. He was coming up on it slowly, but he so much didn't want to get past that, like with about half a mile or a little more than that, he merged into the left lane as to block me from going around him. It's just stupid crap like prideful ego bullshit. That shit's never not funny. Three or four times in my career, I've had you know had the opportunity to diesel stop pulling to uh, knock on somebody's window while they're sitting in traffic or sitting at a red light. <laughs> Nobody's ever expecting that ever. They always jump out of their skin. Once it was a lady; she had a flat tire she didn't know about. Once it was on camera; it was that guy had his. Uh, Old cap dangling, we sit in a traffic jam, and then that guy with his door open <laughs> about jumped out of his skin. But I mean, he had boxes right at the back of his trailer, and his rollback gate was up, so saved him from losing some product. Hopefully, he didn't lose any yet. I didn't see anything on the road on the way up, but who knows.
that the live and low, I'm gonna have to immediately find a place to wash it and get empty. Fine. remember the name of this town. I used to come here all the time. This is actually the last place I was for my last load with her squad. I cannot remember. It's a funky name. I'm actually south of there anyway. But my neck has killed me, by the way, when I freaking shoved my head into that overhead compartment the day before yesterday. I've had a headache and a cramped up neck ever since. I knew it was going to be that way because it just immediately cranked my neck and I was like, oh god, that's going to suck for days. Some improvements here. Used to, if you were picking up or dropping a load, you had to drop your trailer in the loaded bay or the loaded line, go park somewhere in the yard but not in anyone's way, and then walk up to the office, check in with them, they'd tell you what empty to grab, and then 
then you would go grab your empty and go get checked out. Now, or at least with Schuster, they gave me my signed bills at the guard shack and told me where the empties were. It's like, great. I don't have to go deal with office people and wait for someone to show up at the desk and waste a bunch of my time. I can just go grab my empty and I'm really crossing my fingers hoping to God it's clean because that'll really make the rest of the day easier. Because I can go right now, if my trailer's clean, I can go over to Daisy and park on the road. It's where you park waiting to get loaded anyway. It's right there on the street next to that place. So I can park there and then go get checked in as soon as I get there in the morning. Maybe they'll load me early, maybe they won't, but I'll already be there. I haven't gone to that place enough to know whether they'll load me when I get there or not. Or when they get there. It all, all depends on what their day is, probably. You know, if they got bunch of trucks scheduled they're not gonna let me jump the line just because they showed up early but you know if someone shows up late maybe they'll let me trade places hey. that looks perfectly clean Get here and make sure there's no blood. That's awesome. A couple pieces of wood. That's not blood, it's like oxidation. Where's that other piece? Oh, that's all two pieces of wood. Where'd it go? And I see you. That makes my day a hell of a lot simpler. Thank God. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, but today I won. And now we can see if uh, we can continue the streak and see if those guys will load me first thing this morning. That'd be great. Oh, I'm going to set this thing at 32, uh, no, 34. I'll split the difference, set it at 33. It's dairy, so it won't be below freezing. Pretty sure last time I picked out, it's like sour cream, very daisy. It's not all daisy makes, but I'm pretty sure that's what they're selling there. Or storing there. Another win? I am. The pin wasn't too high. I'm just winning all around today.
Pick it up. Six zero three three. Oh, he said six zero three three. Sorry. Ten four eleven o'clock. Target uh, Cedar Falls. Go to Cedar Falls. Target. Yeah. Ten four trailer number five one two one seven. It's clean, and I got two load locks on the truck. Okay. All right, door six. Awesome. I'm gonna put you in door six when you uh, thirty five degrees start stop. Okay. Um, when you slide your tandems and back up, chuck your trailer. Okay, six right here, right? Yeah, door six on the other side. So just swing around, yep. come in the entrance. And Thank you, buddy. Oh. Days just coming up aces, man. You don't always get good days in trucking, but today has been a damn good day. Like, give you goosebumps. Everything's just gone perfectly. I better buy a lottery ticket. I don't know. It's got me in a good mood, though. I mean, as soon as I pulled, I didn't even have to get out. He was, he just come out here. He saw me pull up, walked up to me. You ready to check in? Hell yeah. That's awesome. Never in my life have I had that happen. Wow. I think I was about to say like I don't know if they're actually gonna load me right away you know they'll probably load the guys that are closer to their appointment first but I mean if they get me loaded anytime close to my appointment time that'd be awesome but if they get me loaded early great at least they got a dock oh yeah I wanted to see gosh damn 10 minutes, they already got the dock open. They're gonna load it.